Hey guys, how's it hanging? We're back with uh, Isaac here, and we have been working on some challenges lately. None of these look particularly fun, to be honest. But let's try the purest. Like, let's let's just go for it. In all honesty, I'd rather do the purest than like any of these other challenges. So, the purest is, uh, you know, a typical standard Isaac him up. But with this challenge, unfortunately, you don't get any item rooms in it. You do have to kill Isaac. So. With Isaac, no D6. So, in order for this challenge to work, we are going to have to earn ourselves some Devil Rooms. We're going to have to get ourselves some Soul Hearts. Probably in order to do this. We, we've done it a million times. It's the same basic Isaac formula from your standard everyday run. The only difference is there's no D6 and there's no item rooms. But other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same as your everyday Isaac run. So, I have done a couple runs before this. Kind of to like try to warm up. Get my dodging skills in order. I'm definitely not one of the better dodgers of damage in Isaac, but hopefully a little bit better than what you're normally accustomed to. Oh, Petrified Poop is actually really good finding it this early on in a run, so I'll definitely be destroying any poop. So, just as a forewarning, I'm probably going to take this run kind of slowly and methodically, very much how I did with my tank run. <laughs> Where I probably took it way too slow and way too methodically because that run just took forever. But that's what I'm going to be doing in this run just to make sure we give ourselves the best opportunity possible. And I'm destroying all these poops just because I want to get a soul heart from one of them. Doesn't look like that's going to work out, but I will check out the the shop. Oh, we got Black Candle. That would be good. We do have a soul heart as well, so if we can't get another 5 cents from the rest of the floor, we, we'll buy that. And that would be nice for the... Uh, the next floor so we do find our secret room right away hopefully there's tons of money in there there's not there's some bombs there's some mushrooms do you see where this is going i see where this is going paralysis not as helpful as it could be bombs are key which is absolutely nothing for us because we didn't have any bombs or keys so yeah i'm gonna go clear out the rest of the floor i don't think there's any good reason not to really Gluttony could be really good if we get his item drop. At the same time, if we get his item drop, I think it's going to be in the middle. And I don't think we'll even be able to reach it. So, I think that's how this works. So, that's unfortunate. I can't teleport out of the room or anything. So, yeah, we got his drop, but it's in the middle of the room. We can't even get to it. Okay. Isaac, RNG, I need you right now to get me a Hanged Man card. Like, I need it. It didn't happen. Well, we're going to have to leave behind a health upgrade then. There's not really a whole lot we can do about it. That's unfortunate, but it's pretty much all that we could do. Unless we found Spirit of the Night in that cursed room, there's no way we can get flight. And I don't even know if you can get Spirit of the Night in the cursed rooms anymore. I know you can get Pact, I know you can get Mark, and I know you can get all the guppy pieces in cursed rooms. I personally have never seen any other item other than those, although I think you can... You should be able to get any item from the Devil Room Pool. I just, I personally haven't seen any other items. I've only seen Guppy Pieces and Mark and Pact, but it's probably possible to get Spirit of the Night in a Curse Room, and if that's the case, that's awesome. So we did not get it up to 15 cents, so we won't be able to buy Black Candle, unfortunately, which would have been great because it removes the curse from every single floor. But, yeah, we're just, we're not going to be able to do that because I don't have the funds, but I will be able to buy that Soul Heart. Which will be awesome. We get a speed up. A huge speed up. And uh, I'm not entirely sure if that's a good or a bad thing. But we will buy this so hard. What this does mean is I don't want any more speed ups. Roid Rage is enough. If you take Roid Rage, unless you've had a bunch of speed downs to run already. You do not need any more speed ups. That's it. You're good. So, at least I will be able to very easily outrun enemies. I just... I want to make sure we're using this speed up to my advantage and not to my disadvantage, and I know in the past, <laughs> when I get Roid Rage, sometimes I take unnecessary hits just because it's difficult to dodge stuff. I might be back for you. I'm more likely than not will be back. It's going to be like old times gambling in the arcade. I, don't, I really have not done that hardly at all in Isaac rebirth just because I do think the game is a little bit easier so you don't have to necessarily prioritize arcades as much as maybe you once did and that's not to say oh like the game is so easy now 
Because, you know, at the end of the Vanilla Isaac, I was... I'm not... I'm far away not the best Isaac player, and even I was winning almost every single run I played, so... I don't necessarily think that the original Isaac was all that hard either, once you got used to it, of course. But... I do think Rebirth is a little bit easier. And therefore, you just don't have to play your heart out at Blood Banks, trying to scrounge for every HP upgrade that you can get. We will take some money here, which is awesome. For that arcade or shop or whatever we decide to do with it. So we will be going into the boss fight as long as they don't take damage during this room, which is certainly a possibility. And I wanted to just give a shout out to the meat guy for killing himself on the fire. I really appreciate that. It's the little things, man. It's that all add up to you having a successful Isaac experience, and that's what's going on right now. All right, let's get ourselves this devil deal. Let's get uh, packed and brimstone out of it, and then invalidate the run. The challenge, I should say. That would be awesome, but we'll see. We'll see how the... Uh... I'm trying to think of a good analogy to come up with right now, and I just can't think of one. So I apologize. How the cookie crumbles, That's that's a good one. That second bit of damage I took was was not good, but again, I mean, that's how the cookie crumbles, right? Larry Jr. just swam over his own poop, which is a little bit on the revolting side, and also a little bit on the, you shouldn't be able to do that, what is this game side? Well, that run room did not necessarily go all that well. I got a snack, though. Oh, really? I mean, I'll take it. Just so we don't get any of those pesky angel rooms. And, uh, you know, Guppy's Head isn't a bad item if you can get good tier damage. And if you can't good get, if you cannot get good tier damage, then yes, it is a bad item. But, or at least I think so. You have the right to disagree. But I am gonna go back for that curse room, of course. We, uh, we do have one out of the three pieces of Guppy, you never know. It could happen. On any given day. Oh, no. I don't have any bombs. This is bad. Well, cheers for that. Um, man. Bombs would be so nice. But don't have any, so... Not a lot we can do about that. Um, yeah, like, having that particular red chest show up on a... A floor where we didn't have... Our guaranteed devil room would have been cool, but whatever. Finally, take care of him. Make sure we use the guppy's head constantly. I, I always forget to use the guppy's head whenever I have it, so... I think we can play this twice. I'll play it a couple more times just for good measure. Excuse me. I'm going to check just to make sure there's not anything cool in the shop. I forgot already. There very well might be. Oh, the ladder. Well, that's not really that cool. Um, and I don't need the key. I just, I don't. So, I'll spend all my money gambling, I guess. I might just want to gamble down to five cents. I do prefer gambling on the gambling machine here rather than the skull game guy. Speed up. Oh, no. That's uh, really not what I wanted, to be completely honest with you. We got ourselves a key. And another key. Well, we'll proceed down to the next floor now. I do want to keep five cents to perhaps spawn another arcade on the next floor just in case we get a demon beggar and get a whole bunch of red hearts to spend on him. Because those can spawn in the arcades. And we do have a couple hits of soul art protection, although I'm so fast. I'm so fast that I don't even know. Another curse room. Back to back to back floors with curse rooms in them. What could it mean? Double curse room. Across the sky. I guess there's not necessarily a sky in Isaac, because you're looking from it. So you can't see it just due to the, the point of view. Oh, golden key is awesome. As long as we run into some of those golden chests. If not, it's really not all that awesome because there's no item rooms. Oh, Devil is good. That's going to make our boss fight significantly easier, so I'm a fan. I think it is a Book of Belial use on the boss fight, but uh, I don't believe that it gives you the guaranteed Devil Room like the typical Book of Belial would. So that's unfortunate, but... It is what it is, hey. Oh my goodness, no! No! There's so much going on right now. Please be a joker. 
two of spades. I just did not need that in any way, shape, or form. Sorry, I just didn't. I would appreciate something that's a speed down, like, I don't know, Thunder Thighs, you know, something of that ilk. But I don't think we're going to get Thunder Thighs because there's no item rooms. But just something that gives you a benefit and also a speed down would be awesome right now. Alright, that's either a library or a shop. Of course, I'm going to hope it's a library, but I know the fact that it's most likely going to be a shop. I've come to grips with it. Compass is good. Compass is real good. I don't think I'm going to get enough money to purchase one, but we'll see. Things could work out. Oh, that's not... Looks like that's not the uh, secret room. A whole room full of guys that jump up and down. But that went surprisingly well. Oh no, it's Peep! Oh goodness gracious, this guy is the stuff of my nightmares. He really is. I have a. I think my struggles with Peep are well documented. I don't know why I have so much trouble with this boss and like really no other bosses in the game it's pretty much just this one but I don't know man I just I don't do well with peep oh man come on all right we're taking damage like left and right and center and up and down and a little bit to the side as well which is kind of strange but I don't know maybe I just have a aversion to peeps yellow tears they're difficult to spot it's, it's more the eyes that kind of mess you up like i try to dodge the eyes and in the process i got hit by the tears or i try to dodge the tears and in the process get hit by the eyes or something happens and the peeps dead only took three hits <laughs> and for me that's a pretty significant victory i would say oh so hard that's so good temperance could be awesome pretty fly is definitely awesome i don't think broken magnet is all that awesome but Everything else in that box was pretty awesome. So, um, I'll hold on to the Tempest card in case we get an arcade. And, uh, double... Double blood donation machines would definitely be pretty hype if that works out. Wow. I, I have no comment. On that damage that was taken. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna blame that on the speed and... No, it was probably a lot more to do with my own stupidity, but I'm gonna blame that on that massive amount of speed I have just because okay so I do have a bomb so I feel a lot more safe going into this curse room now with a bomb I was gonna say double guppy items would just be so good actually bombs are key is good because bombs are more useful than keys when you don't really when you don't have uh, item rooms I definitely don't want speed up alright that was not a good curse room but I had to take the chance Man, it's been a while since I died during an Isaac run. Like, it, it really has been quite a while, but I'm kind of feeling it coming in the air tonight. And I'm not that excited about it, but who knows? You know, the luck can turn. Why not? Well, I got some keys and a bomb out of it. I'll definitely find my secret room now. I, I got tons of bombs, so I might as well. might even go for the top secret room. Like, heck, why not? Getting a uh, eternal heart out of one would be nice to make up for that health down pill that we uh, unfortunately came across. And yeah, with this few red hearts, it makes the temperance machine significantly less impressive, but I can uh, probably get enough money to buy that compass. I'm going to do that, although I'm very, very tempted to buy that soul heart instead. But we'll buy the compass. Why would you not pop up, you fool? This room is just designed to cause frustration, I can tell. Oh man. That could have gone a lot better. It really could have. Unfortunately, during the purest, like, really how you win is by getting deals with the devil and then getting lucky in them. And that's like, that's how you win this challenge. And, uh... No thanks. Up to this point, at least, that hasn't happened, so... We might 
struggle during this challenge just because of that. Oh, goodness. Well, I'm not going to play the IV bag. It's probably smart, but I'm not going to. Oh, okay. Apparently that's not the secret room. I don't know where the secret room would be. Actually, I, I have a sneaking suspicion where it would be, now that I think about it a little bit. There we go. Two keys. I don't know what else we could do on this floor. I guess I will buy that soul heart in the shop. Like, compass is great and all, but let's be real. I need the soul heart. As I said, you know, devil rooms are how you win the purest challenge. And um, I'm going to need to get one. And I'm going to need to get, like, brimstone or something from it. If we're going to win. So, how do you get devil rooms? By using soul hearts. Soul hearts are devil room obtainers. So, that's how we're going to do it. And then even if we do get the devil room and something really good out of it, um, we will have to additionally find a way to get some health. So, a space bar item that regenerates soul hearts like the nail or the book of revelations or something would be awesome if we can run across one of those. I think it's definitely worth spending two keys. Oh my goodness, if there's a dice room in there that could reroll your build, that would be awesome. I think this is worth it with the amount of keys that we have. Just a bunch of stuff. Uh Okay, we're safe. A bunch of money and bombs, though. So I definitely don't regret going in that room. Um, makes checking for the secret room really easy. We can check here. If it's not there, we can check here. It's neither of those places. I'll keep that in mind. Um, broken remote. I think what that does is it gives a chance for when you use your spacebar item to teleport. Oh my... Why is this room so bad? Oh, this is like... This is not good at all. Okay, well, we pretty much just lost our Devil Room chance. Which, I don't know how I'm going to recover from that, personally. But, I'm sure there's ways to make it happen. I think I took, like, four damage in that one room. I don't even know what's happening right now. Okay, Petrified Poop could prove useful in this room. I just wait until he's about to charge, and then I dodge out of the way. And don't run into the miniature poops, because uh, they're jerks. Thank you for dying. And not causing the same thing to happen to me. Alright, another use of Guppy's head. I got tons of money, so the shop... Oh, tons of money with that nickel payout. That's nice. I'm going to check up here first, just because like, I feel safer in these rooms than I do in the... Uh, the larger ones. I don't know, I just have an aversion to large rooms. Tends to be nastier enemies in them. From my experience. There's definitely no tinted rocks in this room, although as, as nice as that would be, there's not any health down. I'm going to hold on to that in case I get a devil room or something, then it turns into a health up if I trade away a heart. Which I will do. Definitely. Given the opportunity, because it's like a free devil room item. Oh my goodness, we get a devil room teleport out of this curse room here. That would be quite nice. I think a lot of people have like struggled with the purest challenge in the past, and I can tell you myself, I did end up winning this challenge. I think the very first time I tried it on the original Isaac. The Empress is good. I think that got rid of our um, health down pill. Hmm. Not a big fan of that. I'm going to be right back and try to figure out how to switch cards. Okay, well, it says that I'm supposed to use the control key to switch between cards, and I'm doing that, and nothing's happening. So either it's not the control key or I have two Empress cards. I'm not entirely sure. I probably just have two Empress cards. Whoop. Don't take damage from that. Don't take damage from... Thank you for listening to my... Words of advice, Isaac, you're a bro. Oh, boy. Well, of course I want to go to that curse room, but... Mm, yeah, I'll go to the curse room now. 
we will be able to heal back up. Of course, I've already taken red heart damage. That's not what I'm worried about here. Guppy, 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 no. Devil room teleport. Oh, mate. Well, that did not help us out at all. But it was definitely worth going to. Without a doubt. I mean, they were worth going to in regular runs. Even more so the purest, where it's much more difficult to obtain items. So, yeah, I probably just have two Empress cards, which is not a bad thing. Because I like the Empress. It's pretty good. And uh, hopefully, this will make our boss fight a lot easier. And then we'll get Magic Mushroom after the boss fight. No, we'll get Synth Oil, and then we'll blow up a mushroom inside the boss room and get Magic Mushroom. If that happens, man, we could uh, make a startlingly quick comeback. Wouldn't take long at all to come back if uh, the run starts going in that direction, but... Large room, there are poops, there are mushrooms in this room, and I do have a lot of bombs. And uh, my theory about the magic mushroom happening could come true. There's not that many mushrooms. I think I could only blow up like one at a time with my bombs, though. I don't know if I want to do that, but... I don't know how good of an idea that is. But, man, we're desperate times call for desperate measures, right? So, One thing is I am still on base damage, so uh, it is going to take a while to kill some of these enemies. But patience will be rewarded. Hopefully there's a kind of cluster of a couple mushrooms more near the southern end of the room, and there is, so I'll feel a little bit more justified about bombing them. Like, the odds of getting magic mushroom are pretty rare, but if it were to happen... Like, the benefits for the run would just be so much. We do get it hard. We get another Empress? Do we have three Empress cards now? I think we do. Like, we're holding two and there's another one on the ground. Um, so I guess after the boss fight I can come back and get another Empress card. I did not realize these spiders had such low health, but they really do. And here's another place to use some of our bombs. To potentially get something out of the mushrooms. We got a bomb drop at the sign. Maybe it wasn't a sign. There's no reason to destroy that fire. Oh, no. I've seen better rooms than this one. Although, it's it's not as bad as I initially thought. So, we will use our Empress card in this room. And as long as it's not, like, the double haunt or something like that, we should be completely fine. Should be. It is Dark One. I feel completely comfortable fighting Dark One. So, we should be okay here. As long as you don't stand underneath him, because then he will brimstone you. He can and will brimstone you. I think I'd rather have fought in the Fallen, though, if we're going to fight, like, a devil-related boss. Just because the Fallen would have given us a guaranteed Devil Room item, which I would have been pretty happy about. Turns stuff dark, and he fires tears. Like, this is, this is honestly one of the easier bosses in the game, I feel like. Definitely. He's like, he's in chub territory of a boss is just like extremely easy to fight. And he's also, I think, a catacombs level boss, just like chub is. Squeezy. And we won a devil. I don't know how. I have no idea how that happened, but we did. Guppy. 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 Oh. Well, it was not to be. So. I guess that makes up for the fact that I just cheesed a Devil Room so hard, because I did not deserve to win that Devil Room. And I did, and it had nothing in it, so... I probably deserved that one. Let's be honest here. So, turns out we did, in fact, have three Empress cards. One per each boss. Let's just continue on. We do have some Soul Hearts, so who knows? We could cheese another Devil Room on the next four, perhaps. Cursed Labyrinth. Oh, no. Oh, dear. This is not good. This room is also something that is just not good. This room is not as tricky as it initially seems. You just take your time. Like that. Like so. Okay, the reason why I'm saying Curse of the Labyrinth is not good is because there's pretty much no way I'm going to go through Adept's Curse of the Labyrinth without taking Soul Heart damage. And uh, we lose a Curse Room and we lose a Shop, and yeah, it's just, the Labyrinth is terrible. It's the worst Curse in the game, without a doubt. Curse of the Blind can be bad, but Labyrinth just kind of hurts your chances of winning, and I don't think any of the other 
curses do that, unless Curse of the Blind makes you take an item which, like, breaks your build or something. But Curse of the Labyrinth is definitely the worst curse in game, and I'm not thrilled with the game's decision to give it to me, especially on this particular challenge. Seems like a fairly rare curse to get as well, for the most part. Unless you're playing the purist. But, you know, it, it is very thematic to have a challenge based on the original Isaac and then get a Curse of the Labyrinth because they were they used to be very common. Yes, this is worth it. I mean, I don't have anything else to spend my keys on. Might as well. A whole ton of money. Really unfortunate that we miss out on that shop in an arcade and all this good, juicy stuff. I guess neither one of those can be a secret room. But we'll find it, never you fear. So yeah, we're just looking for the shop and then the boss room and then we're out of here. And if I somehow manage to get a deal with the devil, like I don't know how that would be even possible, but I guess it could happen. I don't know, maybe like the Empress card raises your chance for the deal with the devil. Maybe that's how I won it on the last floor. You never know. And if that's the case, maybe we could get one. I'm just saying. I'm just throwing that out there. Oh my goodness. Well, my soul hearts are now gone. I feel sad. This room is uh, not one of my favorites. Although, it could definitely be a lot worse at the same time. I do definitely want to find my secret rooms, because I'll check for the top secret room as well. Use Guppy's head as much as possible. Keepers are annoying, but it's only two of them. I don't know why there's skulls on either side of this lower door. Does that mean there's a mini boss inside the room? Maybe that's a thing and I just never noticed it. Could be. Nope, it doesn't mean that. I have no idea why there would be skulls on either side of the door then. Maybe it means this is the room that you're going to die in. <laughs> I certainly hope not. I'd feel pretty bad losing a challenge to dying to brains, but it's possible. Okay, what's in here? No. No thanks. This room is not good looking whatsoever. Yeah, I saw that coming a mile away. I was tempted to use the Empress card in this room. At least we got our health back that we lost. But I decided against it. Just thought, you know, there's probably... Wow. Did not realize the blast radius was that, that big. But there's probably better uses for the Empress card, such as, you know, fighting the bosses on this floor. So I'm going to need some help to get past Mom if I only have two red hearts. And those won't even necessarily be filled by the time we reach Mom. I'll check. Nope. But I do have lots of bombs, so I'm not too worried about using a couple occasionally. Oh, I just had so much speed. Well. Speed does come back to bite you sometimes. At least there's a bunch of skulls in this room. It's not over. It's not over till it's over. We can blow up some skulls here. And we do get a black heart. Perfect. It's what we were looking for. We'll use one more. And we did get Ghost Baby as well. Like, not not as if that's an important thing or anything. But we got it. And heck yeah, I'm going for this curse room. I'm balls deep. Balls deep. Please be a joker. If you are a joker, I will just be so happy right now. Worth it? Magician? No thanks. Two of spades. Oh, mate. Okay, well, we're uh, we're running on one red heart now. If I got hit on those spikes, I would have died. So it's a good thing that that didn't happen, right? If I get hit on these, I would be not dead, but near death. All right, well, the whole left side of the floor turned out to be a wash. Oh, my goodness. I probably should blow up these fires before... Anything even more drastic happens. I don't think we got a soul heart, did we? Nope. Alright, well, if I take another hit on this guy, I'm dead. So just 
be careful where his tears are going. We've had our run-ins with these enemies. But it looks like we dealt with one of them fairly handily. Oh no! Half a heart! Half of a heart! I still have petrified poop though, so maybe we'll get a red heart payout. Or a soul heart payout. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. And a half heart payout. Perfect. Just keeping the dream alive. For at least the next couple of rooms. Man, if I came back to win this, this would be one of my more impressive Isaac performances. Perhaps not the most impressive, but definitely up there. Of course, like anyone who's played this game, you know, a couple hundred times, you're going to eventually have some of those comebacks that are just awesome. I know there's been a couple. All from the original Isaac. Oh, this could be game-saving. If we get a Joker card from this, I'm just dumping every bit of my money into this. Because if we get a Joker card, that could save the run. Maggie's Faith is good. I don't know if... I think I'd probably take Maggie's Faith over Petrified Poop. I am begging you for a Joker card. Cancer is good. I think I'll probably take Cancer. Wiggle Worm. It's going to be difficult to get out of this room with the trinket that I want just because there's stuff all over the place. A couple more cents to go. Two more. We got a couple cards. If one of those is hero font, we're in a good situation. Oh, that could be a Joker card. It could be. The tower. <laughs> That'd be dangerous to use. Credit card is good. Oh, I do want that. I think I'm going to take credit card. I want cancer and credit card. Man, how, how can I get out of this room with the stuff that I really want? Okay, I, I did get the ones that I wanted. All right, sweet. Well, actually, do I want credit card? Like, it's only useful if I uh, if I manage to get a devil room, and then I could just get everything in the devil room for free. But we're gonna hold on to it just on the off, off, very off chance that it happens. Because I don't know. Like, there could be something that goes on with Empress that causes you to win devil rooms. I, it, it could happen. Could be the case. I'm not sure if that was supposed to hit me or not. I thought it was outside the hitbox. Oh, no. Oh, no. Well, we got through that room at least. That's something. There's something to be said for that. So, obviously, I did just unlock the credit card in the last run, and now I have it. At least with the credit card, you know, um, I can go to the shop and I can just buy out the shop with it. It does buy everything in the shop if you use it in the shop. Which is probably better than the Devil Room, because it's very unlikely we're going to be winning the Devil Room this floor. So I'll probably just use it in the shop. And that won't be a bad idea. I'll use the levers here, and I may wind up coming back from that. You don't know. It could happen. No, 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 no! Oh my goodness. I do want to use a bomb here. I, I'm not going to, though. Um... Another room with a tractor beam that I do want to use bombs in. I don't know, does it drag my bombs in? It doesn't look like it. As long as it doesn't mess with my bombs, I don't care if it messes with me. We've got a card here, Font. Another lover's card. Oops. Placed a bomb down by accident instead of my card. Um, we are going to have to go through that scary looking spike room up to the north to get to the boss fights, it looks like. And the shop as well. I was a bit scared of this room for obvious reasons. I somehow managed to get through that. I'm not entirely sure how. Like, cancer is such a big help, though. Because obviously our damage has been really hurting. And uh, cancer helps that out a lot. Stars is alright, I guess. I don't know if it's useful at all during this particular run, but it exists. Man. If I could just, like, get two guppy pieces, I don't know how that would happen, but if if it did, we would be in such a good situation.
There's green creep on the ground. Looking like a fool with your creep on the ground. I did not realize these knights had so much health. These knights have obviously been playing the tank challenge. I would think. Alright, only the champion left. Life could be worse. How? I'm not sure, but I'm, I'm sure that that could be the case. Okay, just shoot him in the side of the head, as is traditional. There we go. Another card. It feels like I have Ace of Spades right now, even though I know I don't. I think um, Empress is a little bit better than High Priestess, although High Priestess is not bad. Hmm. Tempting. Very tempting. We'll check out what the shop has to offer first, though. There is a big room to go through, but there is our shop inside of this room. There's a ton of skulls that I could blow up in hopes of more health. There's just a lot of stuff, man. And I know that our boss rooms are somewhere because I've been told that boss rooms do exist in this game, so I'm sure we'll run into them at some point. I have seen no evidence of them yet, but they're going to be here somewhere. There's probably a couple guys left, one left. I don't think there's any skulls that are like close enough to blow up too with one bomb though. The Hermit! I could get into the shop with no keys lost, but why? I have tons of keys. Okay, well I'm going to use the credit card here. Right? Okay, so I can just take everything. So we got Champion's Belt out of that, we got a Soul Heart, we got uh, the Candle thing, which would be really awesome if I got that before this room, because uh, it does give you invulnerability to curses. But hey, um, and I think I'm going to go back for one of those cards. I will play this, just because I don't want to go back through that scary room, and I don't want to wade through all the trinkets to play the Soul Heart Machine again. So we will just play this. I don't know, man. Things are looking up. Like, I got a little bit of extra damage from Champion's Belt. Yeah, we'll run into more champions. But I would say more often than not, that's a good thing, because they can drop stuff, including Soul Hearts. Stars, no thanks. I'm going to use this on the first boss and then use Empress on the mom fight. That's how we're going to do things. So I think we have been down to like the blinking half red heart a couple times during this run. But we're starting to look a little bit better and there's a bunch of skulls to blow up. I always love when that happens. Man, we are just fighting. Fighting until you get that one really lucky devil room, and then all of a sudden the entire run turns on its head. But that's why you continuously play these uh, runs that don't look like they're going anywhere. Nothing from that one. Nothing from those. Ah, oh, we got a card and a rune. Hagalaz would be really good in this room, so we're going to use that. Any black hearts? Ooh, we got one. It's probably worth it. And what's this? The tower. I'll pass. I think we can blow up two with one bomb here. And here as well. Please be a joker. Oh my goodness. This run could turn around here, man. It could. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Well, never mind. I'm not going to take the goat head just because we, we only have one more devil room in the entire game after this one. So, yeah, I'd be guaranteed to win it, but... Eh, I don't know. I don't really feel like that's worth it to trade in an entire red heart just so you get one extra devil room, which may or may not be great. We may or may not even survive to get to, you know, so... Goodbye, Loki. Oh, mostly. Mostly goodbye. Not completely goodbye. That's good, though. We get shot speed and tears up. No, shot speed down and tears up. Tears up is awesome. Alright, let's fight Mom. So 
So I don't have any orbitals, so unfortunately... Oh, that was dumb. I can't effectively cheese the boss. I can cheese her, just not quite as effectively as as is tradition. Please pop your hand out and you'll be dead. Just do it. Oh, there she goes. She's down. We got a health up. Is there any tinted rocks? I'm not seeing any. We get the negative at least. Oof. Down to wound one. Alright, and we better... We better win the Devil Room on this floor, otherwise I'm going to look like a complete fool, but as long as we win it, it's good, and I'm validated for not taking that go-ahead. Man, if we just win the Devil Room and there's like, I don't know, if there's two guppy pieces in it, it's so rare, but if it were to happen, we could win this. Or it doesn't even have to be guppy, we don't have to win guppy, you know, we could, instead of winning guppy, just, um... Like, just get something really good in the Devil Room, like Brimstone or something like that. We could probably win. Speaking of Brimstone, some Brimstone dudes. I mean, our damage is definitely much, much improved with some of those uh, tier upgrades. Because I'm just firing so fast now. Yeah, I don't have very great tier damage, but I fire so incredibly quickly that it does make up for a lot of that lack of tier damage. That's why tiers up are, I think... In some cases, better than damage ups. In most cases, almost as good. Especially if we do get guppy. The tears up will just be so nice. I know I got guppy not too long ago, but it would be it would be so helpful. And who knows? Like it's possible we could win this run without guppy, but. I think I need another couple good items, as well as some luck with uh, Tinted Rocks. Is most likely what we're going to need, if Guppy does not happen. I don't think we've run across the left hand yet this run. If we did and I didn't take it, that's obviously quite foolish. Although, Cancer is, is great and it's alright. If you are a Joker card. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, this run is looking good. Better now, I should say. What's this? The Hermit card? Random teleport? Okay, well, we're looking in a much, 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 much better situation than we were just a second ago. I'm going to wait to see if I can't get some money first before I use the Hanged Man on that. Although, I could go into the Curse Room for half price with the Hanged Man. Let's do that. Please, Guppy. Oh my goodness, what's this? A card against humanity is good. Justice is good. I'll use that. Uh, we'll use a card against humanity in one of those large rooms. So obviously I take a damage to get out, but I think it was worth it. Um, I don't think... Yeah, we haven't run across a large room yet, but as soon as we do come into a large room, we will use a card against humanity. And then we'll get a lot of opportunities to destroy poop. And there there will be a large room. I mean, it's the womb. There's always a large room. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that room. I'm not a fan of. Not really a fan of this room either. Man, all of a sudden we're running some really tough lesser rooms here. Oh, goodness. This run was looking so good just a second ago. It really was. Um, I might have enough range to completely invalidate this boss. I'm not sure if I... Wow. I'm not sure if I do or not, to be honest. Yeah, I just barely... No, I just barely don't have enough range to invalidate the boss. But I can just do this. And then as soon as he shoots the uh, large ball tier, I can scoot back a little bit. But this, uh, obviously with enough range, this boss is a, a mistake. Well, not a mistake, a really, really easy. It, the complete opposite of what I've said, of course. Really, really easy if you have enough range. Oh yeah, we get all cards. Two of hearts, lovers, I'm going to hold on to those. The chariot is... 
useful in certain situations. The Hermit. Hagla's Destruction. Well, I think we're going to use the card against humanity in this room. Yeah, let's do that. And then use this, which just destroys them all immediately. Oh, do I not get any drops from that? What? Oh, I think I just might have royally messed up. Oh, gosh. Oops. I did not know you didn't get drops from using Haglas on poops. I thought you did. My B. My B. Well, obviously we just kind of wasted the card against humanity, but we'll see. We'll see if we can uh, maybe do a little bit better this floor. I did not know that um, Haglas did not work against poops, because I know if you blow up poops with bombs, they give drops. So I was, like, assuming that because that works, that um, the Haglaz rune would give drops from the poops as well. I had no idea that wouldn't have worked. Obviously, if I knew that, I would have just destroyed them with my tears, but that's on me. A Haglaz... Oh, thank you. This could be good. Wasn't really, but we might be able to get something out of it still. We'll see. Give me a... Pretty fly. Not so much. Oh, cool. We got a tinted rock. That's awesome. What's this? Temperance. Well, another dude to blow up. Unfortunately, no soul hearts out of it. We tried. Got a few more cents in case we run across a beggar or something like that. Um, can't go in there, obviously. I feel like if we had flight, like, this this challenge would be going so much better. A lot of damage that you take is completely avoidable if you have flight. So I believe, like, some of these rocks, I'm not sure which ones, but they can give you items if you decide to... Mm. I hate those enemies. These can give you items if you blow them up, because I've had it happen before. Or soul hearts, there you go. You know, it, it can happen. What? Oh, I just got... I didn't even see that creep at all, I swear. Probably should have focused down the, uh, the hand. But it is what it is. Obviously, we're holding on to Guppy's paw. Um, as I get down to my red heart stage, I will just go ahead and pop the Guppy's paw to give myself some more health. And we'll see if that's enough to carry us. Whether it is or not, I'm not sure yet, but... That could be a Joker card. It could be. We've had luck with the Joker cards. It's a two of hearts. Hmm. I already have a two hearts on me. Well, uh, obviously the luck with the Joker cards isn't just going to continue forever. And obviously using a Joker card on this floor would do nothing. But if you use it on the next floor, you can get a Devil Room. And that's what I was thinking about. I have a feeling it's north. I don't know why. I just think it is. Oh my goodness. These enemies. I hate them. So much! Why do they exist, really? Okay, that was probably no need to over dramatize it as much as I did, but that room went fairly well, as rooms go. Oh, another opportunity for a Joker card, if that is a Joker card. Like, thank you in advance for that being a Joker card, clearly. Let's take out the Mama Guts. The Mama Brain is the other one, of course. They both kind of look like brains, but that one's the Mama Guts. The other one is the Mama Brain. Okay, right now, I am begging you for a Joker card. Two of clubs. Not the worst, because uh, we have been using our bombs fairly effectively, I would say. So, we will... I don't know if Chariot's better to use on Isaac or here. Like, Mom's heart can be annoying, but it's 
Definitely easier than the Isaac fight. We fought a million mom's hearts before, we should be fine. Even without the the most health or without as many orbitals as I'd like to have. It's very rare when I come across a mom's heart fight where it even gets to Chubb. Usually I'm just so OP by this point. Although we did some really good damage against Chubb. Mm. It's not good. Screw it. I'm just going to use this. All right. Wait, was that it? Do we not have to fight Isaac? Are you kidding me? Wow, you're serious. I always thought the Pierce was to Isaac like it was in the original game. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Well, that helps. That makes things considerably easier. Well, I guess we just beat the Purist first try. Scratched out a win. I mean, it, it wasn't easy, even if we only had to beat Mom's Heart. I was in, under the impression we were going to Isaac, though. Wow. Okay, well, thank you, everyone, for watching. I feel relatively happy about things, and I'll see you next time. Farewell.